Emmanuel, God is with us. Emmanuel, God is with us. Amen. Now let's get on to this video. Everybody, today I am doing my birthday fragrance haul. These are the fragrances that I got for myself for my birthday. I had another one that I haven't received yet. I ordered it from Poshmark. I don't even know if I'm going to get it because um, the lady hasn't been responding to comment to ship out. So I don't know if she's going to ship it out. Maybe she lost it. She can't find it. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this video. I got this one on Mercari. I think I spent like 40 bucks for this. And this is Dior. Add it. It is one of my favorite fall scents. So good. This is the modern version. So this smells like rice pudding and orange, uh, like a neroli orange kind of smell. It's delicious. It's light enough to be worn in the daytime. And men find this fragrance very attractive. As you can see, a, a little bit of it is used, but I paid $40 and I know this bottle would cost at least $100 in the store. So I'm okay with that. Let's give it their old smell test. It did not come with a top. So if I want a top, I'll have to buy a bottle in store and I don't want a top bad enough to spend another 60 bucks on it. So, ah. Uh, Mmm, that smells so good. Now, the first note on here I get is the zesty orange note. And then comes the spices. And the spices right now are reminding me of cinnamon and cardamom and all that sort of thing. I don't believe those are notes that are listed, but that's what this fragrance does to my skin. It's very sexy, very zesty. And then, finally, you get the rice pudding note and the creaminess comes in there it's a wonderful fragrance highly recommend it as a signature scent if you are a diva or just like that diva life you know i just feel like this fragrance is so good it lasts a long time the newer version which is this one right here doesn't last as long as the original but i only have like a teaspoon left in the original so i gotta get over it and move on to the next comes in a glass bottle and the bottle is dark so I like that for my fragrances yummy delicious highly recommend it easily readily available at a discount on my car and stuff like that because this fragrance is very polarizing it's way too sexy for most you're not gonna smell like a candy bar or a caramel ice cream or anything like that you are gonna smell like a grown woman that is extremely sexy knows her business not to be toyed with a professional or business owner, something along those lines, um, married well, mm, just and, and lives in a cozy, comfortable house that's designed just the way she likes it. Just a good woman, okay? <laughs> so that's that one. Um, next, everybody's been telling me about this uh, Rebel Floor by Rihanna. This was a blind buy. I picked this up at my local Burlington Coat Factory. It was only 10 bucks and it's for an ounce. If I knew I liked it, they had the 1.7 ounce for like $17. So I could have got a bigger size, but I'm like, yeah, even though everybody's putting a lot on it, I know me, I like dark, I like mysterious, I like strong. I am not a child. I don't want to smell like a candy bar anymore. I spent all of my childhood smelling like now laters. And um, now I want to be grown and sexy. I love the bottle. I have already misplaced the cap if there was one. <laughs> I've already misplaced it. This is what I have left. It's gorgeous. And as you can see, I've already tried it out. But we're going to try it out today too. Give it a little spritzy spritzy there. Now this, I have to admit, it smells young. When I smell this, I am smelling a teenager or a 20-something year old woman. I am not smelling a 30-something a year old woman. I am not smelling a woman who's powerful and in control of a lot of things and, you know, just a force to be reckoned with. I am smelling a young, flirty, innocent girl slash woman in the fun stage of her life. 
Um, it is sexy, you know, but in my opinion, all women between 16 and 25 are sexy. Past 25, you have to determine that you want to be sexy. But 16 to 25, that's the grace period where all women are sexy. <laughs> Just different versions of sexy. After that, uh, mature women that are sexy, it is a decision. Because some mature women decide they want to look like a mom or look like a grandmom, and they're over the whole sexy thing. And we can do that. We, we have choices. But when you're young, you got no choice. <laughs> it is a delicious scent. Um, it's a little bit younger than I want to smell most of the time. I feel like when I have this on, when people turn around, they're going to spec somebody half my age. It smells very berry. And another thing I have to admit with this fragrance, this does not smell like an expensive designer fragrance. So when you are wearing this, if people are telling you that it smells like a department store fragrance, like Dior, Guerlain, um, Versace, this fragrance does not smell like, this smells like a department store celebrity fragrance that is delicious and good and young and sexy and flirty and fun. That's not really me. <laughs> but, you know, I'll, I'll use up this until I finish it. You know, it is a good scent. It is a delicious scent. It's just too young, too innocent. And, um, not not as expensive smelling as I like for my fragrances to be. And for $10, I could have put that $10 on a fragrance that smells more expensive, you know. Just needed to save up a little bit more money. Now, I'm not bashing celebrity fragrances. This is a beautiful fragrance if you are under 30. If you are under 30, I completely understand this is gorgeous on you. If you are over 30 and you just want something for the weekend and you don't mind smelling reasonable or affordable, go for it. It does smell sexy, flirty, and innocent. There's a berry to it. Um, it's a really delicious fragrance. I can see why people are talking it up. So maybe if I come back to it in the summertime, maybe it'll perform, it, it'll, it'll age up to at least 30. So, you know, I'm not just tricking folks. They turn around and Here's Grammy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So um, next, I got this from Marshalls. This is the Corez line. I love the Corez fragrances, and Marshalls gets them so reasonably priced. This set comes with a lotion, and it comes with the fragrance, and you get a three-ounce bottle of cologne, and it was only like seven bucks or eight bucks. So I just, I was like, oh yeah. Yeah, $8. So I was like, oh, yeah. And I love the bottle on that one. It looks very um, Greek, Greek, Greek. And Carez, they are from Greek. And I like the fact that they put color in this bottle so that it has a little amber color to hold the fragrance a little bit longer. This is Neroli Iris. And this is strongly Neroli. But it's a light Neroli. This smells like... Um, It smells like a clean scent. Like, I imagine this is a clean scent. It doesn't smell like it has a whole lot of chemicals or poisonous things in it. It lasts a long time on your skin. You do smell like the outside of an orange. The iris gives it a kind of grandmother powderiness to it. Obviously, I like this one, you know? And I like the fact that it was reasonably priced. It's in that vein of things that I would want to wear while on vacation. I could do, take a decant of this. I would really enjoy that. I would say that if you don't want to smell vintage or grandmotherly, that sort of thing, this might not be for you. This is very, very polarizing. And it just smells like a scent that I would like for vacation. It's long-lasting. It's got the powderiness of the iris, which I associate with a lipsticky scent. And it's got that orange in it, which is Neroli. And it's definitely real Neroli, which I consider very sensual. Even the lotion is amazing. I'm going to use this as a hand lotion. So, really like that. Love the packaging. If you see any of these Corez sets, snatch them up. 
it's a clean scent. I feel like when I'm wearing that, I'm not wearing perfume that's as toxic as my normal perfume load. It's an eau de cologne, but it's just as strong as any perfume, so fear not. And the last one that I got in this haul, oh, they gave me a little sample in here too. Let me show you. Let me see what my sample is. Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Cream, okay? Great for the winter time. My last scent is, my Sephora has the Elizabeth and James line on sale. So this was on sale for half off, which made it about 30 bucks. And um, for my birthday, I wanted perfume, you know. Elizabeth and Jane makes one of my favorite fragrances, so I'm inclined to try some of their other scents. And this one is, um, French Grey. Again, this is a Neroli scent. It says Neroli, Musk, and Lavender. I love Neroli scents. Um, lavender scents, I associate it with being manly. Musk scents, I can go either way. This is a nice box, very um, androgynous, so I would figure this is definitely a unisex scent. And with a name like French Grey, I would imagine it is. I just picked up the one ounce because um, I am not confident that this would be something that I would want to wear indefinitely, but I think I would like to wear it for like one year or something like that. I love the packaging on these bottles. They are plastic, so that to me screams celebrity. And since this was um, like 60 bucks for a one ounce, I feel like it should have been glass, but I can't telegraph that to Elizabeth and James. So, um, and it, the, the bottle is a gray color. The fragrance in here is mysterious. This is the most unique Neroli scent I have ever tried besides my beloved Dior Addict. You get the older ones and it is a Neroli scent. I think in the newer ones they switch to orange flower, but it's still gorgeous. Ah, yes. You know, so, but this one right here, it's just such a unique, I got, I got one more wrist. So we're going to, we're going to take advantage of this last wrist here. And it looks like orange is what I was going for. So I wanted to make sure I sprayed this one because this is, this French gray is a unique Neroli. It doesn't smell like Tom Ford. It's not a knockoff of Tom Ford. You can get Cleans Neroli and that smells just as good as Tom Ford. You can also pick up um, Commodities um, Nectar and that, that's a Neroli scent that smells just as good as Tom Ford. But this scent is unique because of that lavender penchant to it. And it's not granny. Yeah. This scent is not granny at all. It is unique. Do not blind buy this. I'm going to tell you that up front. That lavender has a bit of man in this scent. It is definitely unisex. This is the darkest Neroli I have ever smelled in my life. That's the thing I like about these Elizabeth and James. They take everything that's lighthearted and friendly and fun, and they turn it into this beast mode, dark, night fragrance that just, I mean, when you look at those little women, you just don't see their fragrance line, but kudos to them. I love, the, I love this fragrance line. I love the way they package their bottles. You know, they didn't go with the okie doke. This fragrance, I, I don't know how to describe it other than to say it's definitely orange, but that lavender is right there in your face from the start. So the top note seems to be the lavender undercut with the orange neroli in there. I don't know if it's really neroli or if it's orange. And oh my goodness. It's a beauty. If, if you like that particular Neroli scent, there's no other Neroli scent that you can get that would compare. So I would highly suggest that you go and pick it up and enjoy it. You know, maybe you'll be over it before it's completely discontinued because I think they quit, they quit selling their fragrances and they're being discontinued, but they're available everywhere at a discount price. So you don't really have to worry about it. In any event, Jesus loves you and I love you with all the Jesus in me. Be blessed, beautiful.